thanks for coming back for the 20th installment of the 90 day vlog marathon. I missed yesterday, I apologize. Things got in the way, so I'm going to do two tonight. The bit of news that I have to share tonight is that I finally got in touch with the owner of the ranch up in Fraser Park. It's a 17 acre, beautiful piece of property. They uh, board horses there, they grow plants there. Uh, the owner used to work in the film industry, he's now retired, and he is open to us filming on his ranch. And the bit that I do want to talk about besides this wonderful piece of news is the aspect of money. You know, when you're making a short film or a low-budget film, it's the part of the conversation I hate having with people is about money because it's usually, it's such a low-ball offer. And it's the part that I hate talking about because I hate having to ask someone to do something for less than they're worth or having to ask for something for less than it's worth. Um, I feel makes me feel gross. I think that on the plus side, this feeling of regret or nervousness makes me feel like that uh, I'm not a psychopath, so that's good. Uh, on the other hand, it makes me feel like a heel that I've gotta be like, hey, can I have your entire ranch for like a few hundred bucks a day? Because he could easily command thousands and thousands a day for his ranch. And the photos are exquisite. They're just beautiful. It's a beautiful looking ranch. I still think it could make a really excellent location for changelings. So I asked him if we could go up there for our location scout in the next few weeks. He said, no problemo. That's, uh, so that's good news. So I've got to talk to Bennett about going up there and checking out the location and any other crew member that might be relevant. Like if I had a production designer, that production designer would come on up with us. Uh, if we had a gaffer, maybe him, you know him or her. So, um, so it'll be a limited crew when we go up there to check, but I'll bring my 5D, this guy that we're recording on. We'll collect as much information as possible and move forward from there. So that's really great news. That'll also give me an opportunity to go scout the rest of Fraser Park because I want to make the town itself a character in the short. To do that, I've got to get to know the town a little bit better. When I was there last, I went to Big, I think it's called Big John's uh, Barn Grill. Great patty melt, uh, but I want to check out the bar that's there. I think it's called Sue's Bar. It's this uh, cool little bar made of stone and rock. It's really, really neat looking. So I've got to go up there. I've got to talk to other business owners. If Fraser Park's gonna work out, if this ranch is gonna work out, I've got to work it out with the rest of the town. So I've probably got to get in touch with law enforcement and uh, some of the other restaurants that are operating there because one of the scenes takes place in a restaurant and I want it to be a local one. I want the character of the locality to really play a part in the short. And so uh, I'm gonna start putting these pieces together in the next few weeks. Anybody wants to share their experience producing low budget or short short form content with little to no money, feel free to leave your comments below. Let me know what experiences you've had. I'd have, I, I would love to hear the ingenious ways that you've made your short or your low budget feature come to life. So that's it. Stay tuned for the 21st entry into the 90 day vlog marathon for changelings coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.